Hey everyone, so as you all know, I'm still doing my Ocean Inspired series. Um, this is the next look we're going for, and I will post up my inspiration picture on the info box. But um, let's get started. First, I'm going to prime my eye with Milk by NYX. I'm just going to put some on here. Hopefully it's not a long video. I'm hoping I don't have to make it into two parts because it does, it, uh, <laughs> it does take a lot of blending. So, let's see what will happen. Okay, so once that's on there, with your, with the big shadow brush, mine's a little bit dirty, it's okay, I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to be grabbing cream cheese by NYX, I just want a creamy white. So I'm just going to grab some, I'm going to place some right in here, right in here. Continue, please, some as your highlight. Okay, so once you have that, next with a small shadow brush, and this one's a bit dirty too. With a small shadow brush, I'm gonna be using Goon by NYX, and it's their chrome eyeshadow pigment, and it comes in a box like this. I can't show you because it's it'll spell if I try to lift the other part up. But I'm gonna be using that wet. So just gonna grab some. Make it go in your brush. Grab some. Get it really good. And I'm going to be placing that right in here. As you can tell, it's really, really cute. And it's in between. Uh, it looks blue. When you, uh, when you use it um, loose. But when you wet it, it has some gold tones in there. So it kind of makes it look a little bit green. So, sorry, there we go. We're going to keep placing that right in here. Just kind of get it just on your lid. Right in here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to be using my next palette. I'm pretty sure um, if you don't have it, you can go buy it at your local pharmacy. And um, it's by CoverGirl, and I think it's their Tropical Palette. I'm not quite sure what it's called. I've had it for quite some time. And it comes like this. And I have yet to use that lime kind of yellow green. But I'm going to be using this green right in here first. It's just like an emerald green. I'm going to grab some. And I just kind of want to place some right in my crease and pull it up. So I'm going to keep doing that all in here. Bring some right out of here. Keep growing some of that green. just start kind of pulling it up okay now the next color you're going to be using it's that first blue it's a really nice deep navy blue and you're also going to overlap it with that um, green that we just put in there just going to keep placing some on some in here and just keep placing some of that. Okay, so once you have something like this, um, you're gonna go in with a crease brush or a blending brush, a small little brush like that. And I'm just gonna grab some black. And you see right in here is your crease. So we're just going to be placing some on here and on your outer V and just start blending in that black and pull it up and out. You can get messy, it's perfectly fine.
Okay. So once you have something like that, I can find my brush. Oh, here we go. Go back in there with that green. So I'm gonna go back in here with that green. I'm just gonna start placing it over the black. And pull some of it out. And then grab some of that blue again. And place some of that blue right in here and pull it out. And just kind of blend that into your highlight. And once again, you're going to blend it with that black. And this time, you're just going to grab a tad bit. You're just going to put the tip of it one and dust it off and just kind of put some back in here and this time make sure it's well blended if you guys don't mind I'm going to check um, myself on my mirror to see how it's coming out okay I'm just going to keep blending that black in okay so once you have something like this, um, go back in there with that creamy white. And you're just going to grab some with a big shadow brush and kind of minimize it right in here. Can you get your highlight back? You might have lost some. Right in here and just kind of blend these two in. And then right in here, just blend. There we go. So you end up something like you end up with something like this. Next, you're just gonna um, line your top lid. Oh, I'm sorry. Before I actually continue, I am gonna grab that um my small brush, wet it again, and get some of that lagoon color on my lid again. So I might have lost some. As so you can tell, right in here. There we go. Okay. There we go. So next, you're going to just line your lid. Okay. I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible so it might be a little bit messy. So you're going to let that dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to be using a bronzer. And I'm just going to really contour my face really, really quick. I'm going to be using Max Factor Color Genius Mineral Bronzer in 500. And it's a loose powder and it comes like this. It'll last you a very long time. So I'm just going to grab some from the lid. Now, next what I'm going to do is suck in your cheeks and place it right below here. You're just going to contour your face. Now the thing about contouring your face is that you have to blend really, really good. I'm just going to bring some of it up into here, just kind of up into here, just blend that into my hairline. Now next for my highlight, I'm going to be using Hard Candy's Honeymoon and it's a really great highlight once it's wet. So I'm just going to be grabbing some, ooh, I'm drop some, I'm just going to wet some of it, I'm going to grab some of it wet. And I'm just going to place it just on the apples of my cheeks. Keep grabbing some. Just her eyelash. eyelashes next. Apply some mascara to both uh, top and bottom lashes.
and that's pretty much it so this is my other ocean inspired look and i hope you guys like it and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day but i'll talk to you guys soon